Hi, I'm Dr Frances Yarlett. I'm an NHS GP in Sheffield and a medical director at the Lowdown. I'm currently eight months pregnant and struggling with the heat, but I've still been able to go and get my vaccine. I had my second one to make sure that I protect myself, my baby and my patients. The COVID vaccination is safe and effective. There is nothing in it that can harm yourself or a baby. And if I thought there was anything to worry about, I wouldn't have had it. So I'm here to try and encourage you to go for yours too. We know that some people have concerns that the COVID-19 vaccines may affect fertility. But I'm here to reassure you that there is absolutely no scientific evidence for that. And researchers have not been able to find any plausible biological reason why it could affect your fertility. It's completely safe. And did you know that before you're 20, women will have had 23 separate vaccinations at least, and none of those have been known to affect fertility. So why would this one? So in the research so far, before the COVID vaccinations were rolled out, there were 57 pregnancies in the women in the clinical trials. About half of those were in the unvaccinated or control group. The other half were in the vaccinated group which shows that there was no effect on fertility. Since then, in, the, in America, they have done thousands and thousands of vaccinations and 4,804 women have since then got pregnant by the end of March. And we think that that is actually an underestimate for the rest of the world as well. Um, men, don't worry either, because researchers have looked at sperm quality before and after the COVID vaccination and it stays the same. And finally, I have several doctor friends who have got pregnant very quickly after having the COVID vaccination, whether they were meant to or not. To stop this pandemic and to get our lives back to normal, we need as many young people as possible to have the COVID-19 vaccination. So I'm urging you, when you are called for an appointment, please take the opportunity to book in. If you have any further concerns about pregnancy, breastfeeding or fertility, please see the website from the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists who've got lots of information on there for you. And in the meantime, stay safe and we all look forward to getting back to a new normal.